Hi, everybody. It's me, Flank the Gamer. Today, I want to talk about a new game called Quabby's Attack. Now, this game was designed by the this guy named Joe Shulman, and he runs a company called Total Time Media. And he made this arcade kind of game where you're playing as a total who needs to shoot the crabs before the timer runs out. And if, if you shoot the white crabs, then you get some power-ups that help you shoot even more crabs. And the more crabs you shoot, the higher the score you get. So the story here is a uh, turtle named Toby and one turtle named Walton were at a party and ate way too much pizza. And that night they had a nightmare of this Quabby invasion. And that's what this game's all about, baby! It's so weird, because I never heard of turtles and pizza mixed together before, have you? There's also a two-player mode, and I'll talk more about that here in a minute. But first, I want to talk about the graphics! The, the graphics of Quabby Attack, they're pretty crisp and clear. They remind me of all of his other turtle games. Like Turtle Rescue, and the Turtle Rescue Christmas game. And that's pretty cool. It's like he's got a whole turtle universe happening. And of course, we can't talk about a video game without talking about the sound. Now, at first, I didn't think too much about the sound. And I thought, oh, that's a good thing, right? Because when you're trying to play a game like this, you don't want the sound to distract you. Because you're too busy shooting crabs. And if you're getting annoyed by music, well, that's just bad for the game. Because then you're not playing it. So to me, the music is pretty darn good. I mean, it's no happy to gather by the turtles, but it's good for this game. Now, the gameplay, you're, you're a turtle, right? And you're shooting the crabs with your seashells. But the trick is, the crabs can come back to life. And you have to get rid of all the crabs before the timer runs out. But you got power-ups to help you. But the thing is, to get the power-ups, you have to shoot the color of crab that it shows in this little window right here. You also get more points for shooting the white color of crab than you do for the wrong color of crab. So here's the thing, you can stop the crab from coming back if you shoot this star at the little dead eggs here. And you whack up a lot of points doing that. I think the most fun part of the game, whether you're playing one or two players, is when you get a really good combo. And you know what? That feels really good to do. I highly recommend you shoot stars at dead crab eggs. Or whatever those things are. So let's talk about the power-ups. There's a star power-up, and that allows you to kill the turtle eggs, like we said. And then there's a clock power-up, which gives you more time on your clock. It makes sense, right? And then there's this up arrow power-up, and that one's a little more mysterious. These arrows, they allow you to shoot two shells instead of just one. But if you get this, it makes it so the other player can't shoot. And that's where this game gets interesting. Because you need the other player to shoot the crabs so you can beat the level or else the game is over. But you want them to stop shooting for a little bit so you can get a higher score than them. It's a very interesting mechanic, don't you think? You also have these bombs, and when you hit them with your star, it blows up a chunk of the crabs that surround it. I found the gameplay to be pretty challenging. I was holding my breath a lot, trying to get through the levels. And every time I was able to breathe a sigh of relief after beating a level, I was like, yeah, that's pretty fun. And in a game like this, the higher you get in level, the more crabs that appear on the screen. And this is where the two-player couch co-op mode comes in and is really fun. Because what you can do is you can play with your friend. Like what you'll see here, this is Dick Boots and me playing Krabby Attack. But yeah, you could you could work together with your friend to defeat all the crabs. But you're also at the same time playing against your friend because you're trying to get the high score and your friend is trying to get the high score. And so you're doing this weird combination of trying to work together with your friend, but also beat your friend at the same time. Which adds an extra layer to 
how exciting this game could be? Overall, I, I think Quabby Attack is a pretty good arcade-style game. It reminds me kind of of Space Invaders meets Tetris, if, if that makes any sense. But th this game is really good for two players who want to compete against each other while playing for a common goal. I think Total Time Media did a really good job with this homebrew, and it's a pretty good game I would recommend you to play. Oh yeah, and Dick Boots said to tell you that this would be a cool game to have on Game Boy someday too. It would work really well with a Link cable. I didn't know Link had his own cable, and I, I wonder if Zelda knows about that one. But anyway, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and sorry DB, I took over the channel again. But I'm not really sorry, because everybody wants to see more Frank the Game, right? Okay, love you, bye-bye. Thanks for watching and subscribing, and leave a comment down below to tell me how much you love me. Love you, bye-bye, bye! No turtles were harmed in the making of this game. Quabby's on the other hand. Ah, I see what you did there, that was funny.